What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. So guys, I have to break down this video. We are going to be talking about IR dating and maybe some of the reasons why brothers, black men, are deciding to go and get their passports, SYSBM, MGTO dub, whatever they got to do to save themselves and have a better outcome for not only their mental health, but their dating life. So let's get into it. Another male on my daughter's, our daughter's birth certificate. Yes. Are you, are you crazy? That's why she didn't put me on a birth certificate. You a liar. Momo. You's a liar. So why didn't you put him on a birth certificate? Because he didn't have an ID. So it's no way that he could have got I her had an ID. I had all of them things and she ripped them up because mm. she wanted to be spiteful. Now, what woman would do that to the man of their child? Hold on, I gotta get back to that. You said that she ripped up your documents? Yes. What documents are you talking about? My birth certificate, my social, and I had a paper copy ID. And you ripped those up? I absolutely did, because if you wanna, if you, if you, <laughs> wow. you see? It's the clarity in that for me. I absolutely did. <laughs> right. I absolutely did. I want another male on my. So that is not funny at all, but you see how the whole crowd started laughing. It's a crowd of women. The host is ob obviously part of the LGBT. And if you see there, I put a comment that says SMH, black women and their co-signing LGBT best friend. I, I mean, it, these guys are leading these women astray. They're leading them, them to the slaughter. There's no reason why this woman shouldn't have um, her man or her baby daddy's name on the birth certificate. And also, I mean, he needs to get a DNA test for one because they talking about other men in this situation. But also, there's no reason why she should have ripped up his documents. Uh, from my understanding, that is a federal crime. So she should be locked up for ripping up his, uh, you know, sensitive paperwork and identification because that's just crazy. But you see that in a lot of the sisters who are single mothers they practice parental alienation. They keep their child away from the actual biological father. They torment that man emotionally with dangling the future of that child over his head. And it's just sad. And then you have the LGBT best friend or the host of this show um, who is co-signing her attitude towards ripping up his sensitive pertinent documents so let's watch it one more time then we'll move on to the next video hey daughters our daughter's birth certificate yes are you are That's you crazy why she didn't put me on a birth certificate you a liar Mama. you's a liar so why didn't I'm you put liar. me on a birth certificate because he didn't have an id so it's no way that he could have got i had an id i had all of them things and she ripped them up because she wanted to be spiteful now what mm. woman would do that to the man of their child Hold on, I gotta get back to that. You said that she ripped up your documents? Yes. What documents are you talking about? My birth certificate, my social, and I had a paper copy ID. And you ripped those up? Wow. I absolutely did, because if you wanna, if you, if you, <laughs> you see? It's the clarity in that for me. I absolutely did. Right. I absolutely did. I want another male. He's such an unfair moderator as well. He's supposed to be a mediator in this situation and he's choosing sides, obviously. But um, let's get into the comments a little bit. Somebody said, why is this being glamorized? He should bring her to court instead of TV. He's so calm and collected too. Like I would be heated if someone ripped up my stuff because what gives you the right? This is not funny at all. Wonder why they are even laughing. So you do have a lot of sisters in here um, who are pretty much saying that this isn't funny this is like baby mama drama it's ratchet it's perpetuating negative stereotypes in the community which a lot of these are not stereotypes it's just a reality um but a lot of them are actually practicing parental alienation in their own personal lives so you know it, it's like <laughs> 
throwing stones from a glass house, you see. Uh, if the genders were reversed, people would not laugh at all. That is deeply controlling and aggressive behavior, not okay ever for any reason. Yeah, and he's absolutely right. If the genders were reversed, then that man would be demonized. He'd be a monster for ripping up her pertinent documents, okay? He'd be a financial abuser, but women can go around and say, oh, I'm a financial dominatrix, I'm fendom and all this stuff, which is just financial abuse of men. Um, so, ooh, it says, imagine making it hard for someone purposely to claim their child and still wanting them to step up. Yeah, and this is a lot of sisters and they just won't admit it. Oh man, I mean, if I read some more of these comments, my blood pressure is gonna rise because I know for a fact a lot of these women in the comments saying this, that, and the third are actually practicing this in their real lives. So guys, I wanted to show this video. The caption is actually wrong. What happened was this woman was being kicked out because of her undergarments that she decided to wear to a basketball game, which is a family event. She has her booty all out. As you can see, this white man is covering up his child's eyes, um, and it's ridiculous. So let me show you what happened. She's arguing with this man at the same time. <laughs> So she's mad because he called her out. You see what he said? He said, mm. he said it stink. He said it stink. And she's absolutely embarrassed that she's getting kicked out of the function. And a lot of these women, they, they'll come to games and they'll try and, you know, wear these scantily clad clothing like they're in the club to pull NBA players. That's literally what they're doing. They want NBA players to see them butt naked. He's talking, he's talking smack. And saying that she stinks, she smelled like fish, all that stuff. She's saying, what the F is up? What the F is up? Trying to square up with him. She's trying to fight him. These women are mad masculine. She's trying to fight a man. She will get dragged, okay? And you see the white man, he's covering the child's eyes and ears. See, when I was growing up, we were told not to act the fool around white people like this. But you see this woman you know, dressed in nothing and then acting a darn fool in front of all these white folks. It's absolutely ridiculous and hilarious at the same time. See, these women are going to have to understand that we don't have to accept your slorification of yourself, especially in public venues. And you got thrown out just like you should have been thrown out. So I am proud of security here. It's actually a woman who they sent to throw her out. So you can't say that the stadium is misogynistic, okay? Yeah, she need to put some darn clothes on. Um, somebody says, so much happening, great body, wrong outfit for the occasion. The little kid trying to see the action. Yeah, he is trying to see the action. Let's get into the comments. Uh, it says, the little boy has me hollering. So they think it's funny. They don't have anything to say about how she's endangering the mental health of these young kids and the, the way that they're supposed to view women, okay? We always talk about how young boys view women. Well, this is how they view women, argumentative, masculine, um, slored out. This is how young boys view women now because of women like her. Exactly, okay? Um, cameraman should have showed the girl he was with. I want to see it also. It wasn't. The, the 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 caption is the top caption is a false narrative as this woman um so eloquently lays out in the comments she says false narrative gentleman in the video confirmed um hot pants was being kicked out and just got aggressive with him they were not dating and didn't know each other and he asked the white lady that recorded to remove the video and narrative but she refused so um, it looks like, uh, you know, you have the white community kind of mixing up the narrative of what happened between this sister and this brother. But the real narrative is she got kicked out because of dress code. She got embarrassed. He might have laughed or, or maybe said something to her, set her off. Now she wants to fight a grown man who obviously would give her that work, put hands, feet and the elbows of Ugon all over her forehead. All right, guys, so we just saw a couple different prototypes of sisters, okay? We saw the ratchet baby mama who is uh, using the court system and parental alienation to drive her baby daddy's mental health through the roof. 
Then we had the slurred out Instagram baddie sister, okay, who came in there with a BBL um, for two, <laughs> and she got kicked out because of her dress code. And now we have the earthy sister with the natural hair vibes, and she is about to give us another reason why brothers are actually getting their passports and dating out. So let's listen up. I'm feeling spicy, so here's my hot take of the day. All white people are racist. Every single last one of them, all of them are racist. And I don't mean that to say like every single individual white person, if I talk to you, you would have some kind of racist ideology. I'm saying that as a white person, you uphold a system of racism by literally just being white. I believe if you're not spending your literal entire life dismantling racism, then you're contributing to its continuation. And people get so like, <gasps> whenever like I say like people are racist, like why is it such a big fucking deal? Like, yes, you're racist. Like, okay, we've established that. Now what are you going to do to change it? Racism refers to power and race. If you are the powerful race in a society, then you're fucking racist. Like, I just don't understand why it's so taboo. Let's talk about it. Let's accept it so that we can work towards changing it. We're never going to get anywhere and people won't just fucking acknowledge it. So she is using that same tired talking point of, oh, well, you have to have a power dynamic in society to be racist and all this stuff. And that's not true at all. Um, pr plenty of people can be racist. A as a matter of fact, her saying that all white people are inherently racist is racist in and of itself. And a lot of people would try and call it reverse racism or whatever because um, they, they believe that racism comes from white people. But the reality is that anybody can be racist against another group or demographic um and, and they keep trying to spin this narrative of uh you know having the political power and all this stuff and they're trying to change the definition of racism but the reality is um you see a lot more black people who are putting hands on people of the opposite race just based off of the color of their skin especially um in new york you see uh, the the Asians getting dragged and in California getting dragged by brothers and sisters alike on the subways and all types of public transportation um, So a lot of brothers are tired of you know women taking the victim card and perpetuating this victim card and obviously she's a lefty and From what it looked like she did have some Hello Kitty Maybe a car seat or a pillow in her back seat. It could be a kid that she is toting or she could just be that childish. This is my homie Colby and he posted a picture with his girl. I'm gonna cover this up so that this video doesn't get taken down. But as you can see, he's a dark skinned dude with a white girl. He has lost like 500 followers. You guys have to see this fucking comment section. Mm. So wait, you couldn't find a sister to give all your love to? <laughs> just asking. Then look at those emojis. And his ex was a black girl unfollowed shaking my head nine likes another unfollow the bunny emoji for a white girl snow bunny with the the yawn emoji mm. 23 likes let's see how long this lasts literally preying on his downfall y'all love white women like bro <laughs> like let's just paint a picture here right let's just say this is a black girl and this is a white dude and he's got all his white followers commenting that yeah You'd have an outrage, bro. Shit like this needs to stop. Yeah. He found a girl that makes him happy. You gotta leave him alone. Yeah, so that brother made some great points. And I do want to get into some of the comments on this post. And maybe we'll even go to the brother's post. Because um, <clears throat> this is how a lot of sisters are moving nowadays. They say, oh, well, you can like white women. Just don't bash black women. But now you see a black man... Who likes white women he 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 debuts his his uh you know thick butterface girlfriend because she doesn't look that cute in the face but she do got a nice body looks like she's in the gym but he debuts his butterface girlfriend and the sisters are not having it and he didn't bash black women he said update on the personal things have changed for the better and then he said hashtag personal post and he, he didn't even mention the woman or anything about her skin color or nothing. But guess what? The black women went into the comment section saying they unfollowed him. They ain't rocking with him. He couldn't find a sister, da 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 whatever. Um, he said nothing about black women. So a lot of them try and lie and say, oh, well, we don't care if y'all date outside your race. Just don't bash black women in the process. But now you see a brother 
who didn't bash a soul. He didn't say anything about black women. He just debuted his white girlfriend on social media. And now you have the sisters unfollowing him. So, um, I mean, we've pretty much debunked that whole narrative that they don't care, just don't bash black women in the process. But like he said, yeah, if it was reversed, they'd be cheering on a black woman who's with a white man and saying, oh, go girl, you just got the bag, da da da, whatever you came up. So um, these are conversations that we need to have in our community. Um, this woman said, uh, so what, you couldn't find a sister to give all your love to? And then guess what? M3 Colby replied, he said, uh, I did, she cheated on me. And that that definitely happens a lot in the community. That definitely happen, happens a lot. And then what? let me see what she replied. I can't really see. It says blank. Any better you will see, baby. Okay. Oh, I think she said, okay, but um, I, I, I believe she said snow bunnies ain't any better or white women ain't any better. I think that's what she tried to imply. Let me actually go to this brother's post because this is absolutely ridiculous. And this is racism coming from black women. And th there's absolutely no reason why they should be bullying him in the comments like that. Um, and let's see, I'm going to look at the girl. Okay, never mind. She, she, I'm looking at her face. Well, with the makeup, she looks better. Without the makeup, eh, I mean, it's pretty basic. But she does have a really nice body. I'm looking at her, um, her IG right now. Yeah, she got a, she got a pretty nice body. Yeah, she cute. She about a six. She about a six. Okay. She definitely cute. <laughs> but um, yeah. Let's get into these comments. Um. Let's see. Damn, so you got a lot of people defending him. Some some sister said this is this is usually how it goes praying for you. Okay. Um Yeah, so people are coming in defense of him now. People are coming in defense of him now. You got the white women in the comments talking about let's see, she said, damn, people in America are sad. In Belgium, a lot of couples are mixed. Chill, let him be happy. Love comes first. So y'all hear that, guys? Get your passports and go to Belgium, it seems like. Oh, man, but this is a crazy story here. I wanted to break it down for you guys, but you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship request to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app so I know you're paying your tithes, man. Y'all need to be on your marketing team with the BS. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.